Hey, good morning. It's Tuesday and we're back together again. And we're in Acts chapter 15 as we continue to navigate through the New Testament. Hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. Hope you're enjoying the weather, enjoying time outside and getting a chance to enjoy the freedoms that we have. And we're grateful for all of those who paid the price for us to enjoy our freedoms, especially the one we're talking about today, Jesus. Today, Acts chapter 15, there's a big argument about what constitutes salvation. What do you have to do? What do you have to say? What do you believe? And it ends up sending Paul and Barnabas and a whole bunch of people to Jerusalem to talk about it with Peter and all the apostles to figure out what's expected because here's all these Gentiles, here's all these Greeks, and they didn't grow up Jewish. They don't believe, they don't practice all the old the Old Testament practices. They didn't they didn't follow all of the rules the Jewish required, the Jewish Torah required. So they show up in Jerusalem, they have a big discussion and Peter reminds them of his story, what Paul reminds them of what he's done in the churches now. And all these people who have come to faith in Christ, and he says in verse 11, no, it is, we believe that it's because of the grace of Jesus that we are saved. Not what we've done, not how we grew up, not the culture we had, not what our parents believed, not what our legacy was. We believe it's a choice. And you receive it when you believe in the sacrifice of Jesus, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. If you believe that, it changes who you are. That's what gives you salvation. And they came to an agreement on that, and then they gave some practices about what that should do. We'll get into that later tomorrow. But today, the question is, what do you believe? It's your choice. Salvation is not something anybody coerces you into. You either believe it or you don't. So what do you believe? In our church, in our tradition, we practice that as the foundation of your salvation. To say, to believe what Peter believed about Jesus, that Jesus, you are the Christ, the Savior, and the Son of the living God, and you are Lord. And the moment you believe that, not just know it, not just think it, not just wonder about it, but when you believe that, you surrender your life to him, that's the moment you start your salvation journey. So I ask you, who you say Jesus is? Do you believe? Maybe this is a video that you not only listen to, maybe this is one you share with friends today, with family members. What do you believe about Jesus? And if you truly believe it, then repeat what Peter said. I believe with all my heart that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And then go so far as to say, and I surrender to him as my Lord and Savior. And you just started your salvation journey. Now go be baptized and watch what God does as he cleanses your old life and gives you a new one. God bless you for listening in. We're going to be digging deeper into the questions about salvation this week. Join me as we get into that starting in Acts 16 tomorrow. Have a great day.